Here we are in San Patricio County on the Clarence Choplist Farm. We've had a study going here now for three years to compare three different plant populations on two different row spacings. This will be the fourth year of the study. In the previous three years, the narrow row sorghum has outproduced the standard row sorghum. And at this point in time, Mr. Choplis is planting his irrigated sorghum on the 19 inch row spacing. One uh, aspect of the study, as I mentioned, was to examine plant stands. One of the reasons we wanted to do this, as an entomologist especially, uh, treatments, some of our seed treatments are quite costly. So as we increase the seeding rates, we're going up on cost of some of our systemic seed treatments, such as Gacho and Cruiser. And we wanted to determine the most efficient uh, plant population possible and we discovered in South Texas, on the lower Gulf Coast, about 50,000 plants per acre. On the upper Gulf Coast, about 60 or 70,000 plants per acre may be our, our, our best uh, final plant stand. Now here on the irrigated field, it is a higher, it represented by the higher plant stands. We've also examined possible differences in the number of, uh, or the damage from green bugs due to plant population and row spacing. We have not determined that for row spacing at this time, but it does appear to me that our extremely low populations, uh, below 40,000 plants, we do see increase in damage from uh, green bugs. One thing to keep in mind when moving to a narrow row planting of sorghum is to keep the plant population the same as it was on the 38 inch rows. In other words, there will be one half the number of seed per foot of drill on the 19 inch row spacing vers versus what was done on the 38 inch row spacing. I've seen in the last two or three years a few farmers that have moved to the narrow row planting, but they did not reduce the number of seed down the drill in enough uh, such that they ended up with too high populations and actually a loss in yield compared to what we found in so far in six of our eight studies, we have seen increase in yield on the narrow rows.